Hi, my name is Ted Vernon. I buy, sell, and trade classic cars. My company is the Ted Vernon Specialty Autos, and I love my classic cars. I like cars you can drive. I don't like trailer queens. I like cars you can get in, turn the key, and go have fun with. How about you? Well, uh, my name is Robert Cello, and uh, I specialize in exotic cars. I do highline and exotic stuff. So I, I, I prefer European stuff, Ferraris and Porsches. That's kind of what I migrate to. You know, I, I don't mind a car that has to be trailered every once in a while. You, 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 or, you, or put it in the garage, you take it out to dinner, go to the club, you know, use it once a month. They don't let me in the club. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you had one of these cars, you might get in there. You know? I drive my Phantom. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm low key. Uh, but, Phantom, um, Phantom's nice. Phantom's I nice. Love it's, them. it's big. It's, it's, a, it's a, Big. It's like a driving well, your living room. Yeah, it's, I like that. Yeah, You can walk away if you have an accident. With a spaghetti car, you have an accident, you might never walk again. It's a true statement. But, you know, I, I when I get in my car, and I, I happen to, I, over the years, like you, have bought and kept a few of them, you know. And my favorite cars are the cars that kind of grip the road a little bit. You know, like, the, like I said, like I happen to have a 308 Ferrari, and... That was a great car. That's it's a great car. There's the well, Magnum P. I had a three twenty eight, but it's the same body style. It grips the road. It's a it's when you're driving down the road. There's it's one of one. There's not too many out there. You you know it's 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 a, it's a little special. That's what I like about it. I like I like my boats. I like my Rolls Royce Phantoms. I like big cars. I like Lincoln convertibles. I like those kind of cars. I Which, like, like fifty seven Chevys. Things like like that. the Lincoln. You like the what the sixty three? Like the Kennedy car? Yeah. Or like like yeah. convertible. Of course. Yeah, again. I love those cars. Yeah. The tops break all the time. I love them. So many hydraulic lines and different things electrically that go wrong all the time with those cars. One of the main, main reasons why I don't like them, you know, it's like every time something goes wrong, especially with the convertible tops on those cars, even on the Phantoms. And, I mean, it's just, I mean, you know. Don't, don't say that. I get I'm nervous. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm putting my top down yeah. when I leave here. I know. It's just, a, it's a fortune to fix. But there, there are all a lot of money to fix. At the end of the day, my philosophy always with the people that I sell cars to, the people that contract me, I tell them, you know, they ask me, hey, you know, what's the service on this? How much does it cost? I go, listen, if you're asking me you what the service is, this is probably the wrong car. What's his name said that when they asked about the price of gasoline when he was selling his yacht, I think it was Rockefeller. And he said, how much gas is it burning? Because you can't afford this. Vehicle. Right. That's, That's exactly. It's true. It's always been my philosophy. Yeah. I mean, if it's, you know, if you're asking, it's probably not the right car. Yeah, I drove down from Kissimmee and it cost more than a tank of fuel to get here. Oh my God! And that's a big tank. But that thing's got to have eight, nine miles to a gallon, right? Yeah, maybe the twelve cylinder. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. I love that car. You know what I like about those the, that type of car? I like the old Seraphs, like the O2, the Last of the Line, stuff yeah. like that. Those cars I like because it came with that big BMW engine, that that so V12 the, BMW. So does, so does the Phantom. I know, I know, but right. that's what I like. But you, but you know, the Seraphs are sixty, seventy thousand dollar car. The Phantoms, you know, considerably more. Well, that's the only difference, but you know, they're, yeah, they're both great a, cars. It's a different animal. Yeah, it is. I I love big cars. I don't like small cars. I I get more room to make a mistake in a big car. No doubt, no doubt. So if you hit me <laughs> going you're, you're in my three hundred eight, you know, you're they're done. gonna call an ambulance for me, and you got to just buff your bumper. So, but pretty yeah. much. I mean, that's yeah. That's what these cars are. These monster cars that that I drive. I I just never really got into the little sports cars. Never did. I yeah. just, you know. I, with me, it's it's an uh, again a no brainer. I, I would. I don't think I've ever had any big cars other than SUVs. Right. Anytime it's been a car, it's been a sports car of sorts. Uh, a lot of Porsches. I've had a lot of ton of Porsches. I've had a lot of the Ferrari products. But older, I've had some newer stuff, you know, 458s and whatnot. But but I've had in 360s and 430s. But I mainly have, have kind of honed in on the older Ferraris, the 355s, 348s. I got a question for you. Yeah. What's the difference between a Porsche and a Porcupine? <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, I don't know. Well, with a Porcupine, the pricks are on the outside. 
<laughs> I love that one. That's a good one. I want to remember that one. You could use that. Yeah. Give me credit, though. Listen, I will. I will. I, I every time I joke. pick up a gem, I use it. Yeah. I, I just, uh, you know, I, I like I like those cars, and I like the older air cooled Porsches as well. I mean, I like the newer ones too. I like. The I have older a '16 ones. Turbo in my garage, which I love. Um, but I, I truly like the older air cooled stuff, the nine six fours and and stuff like that. And that's that's on the I like on the, the three, upswing. I like right the three fifty sixes. I like those. Oh yeah, well, that's, James Dean cars. Yeah, I like those kind of cars. That's on another level. You're right. I mean, you know, it's just you, what I it's what it's, I like. Yeah, it's a, um, I think those are aluminum cars, and they cost a fortune, you know, to get yeah. your hands on one of those. That's out of my price range as well. So, but uh, you know, we're you know we uh, we we have a little bit of a you know a, a difference of opinion in cars. But what do you what do you drive? What did you drive here? The, the Phantom. One of my Phantoms. Yeah. Yeah. I got two of them. I got a stretch Phantom, uh, EWB car. That belonged to um, Steve Wynn in Las Vegas. Yeah, it was his car. Yeah, it's, it's huge. A long wheelbase. It's so. Is it? Is it? It's big. Limo. Big. Or? Yeah. Well, pretty much. It's not a limo limo, but it's a limo. And you drive it yourself? Of course. Oh yeah. And then I have my convertible. They're both black. And they're both just wonderful cars. I love them. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm a again. Not my car. I, I, I like them. I appreciate the people that drive them uh me I, I i just wouldn't i wouldn't buy one unless i was going to sell it to somebody else i wouldn't put one in my garage what do you think first of, of all i wouldn't fit what do you think of corvettes i love corvettes i like i like most corvettes the older stuff split windows uh oh yeah i like those yeah i mean i like all the corvettes actually even the the crappiest ones i like 84 yeah yeah <laughs> that's the worst one ever made. Or, or 94 I mean, they're all they're both these are bad, yeah. but but I do like them. I like them a ton. And you know, you can in the new Corvettes. I mean, kind of you and I both don't really do a ton of those, but the newer Corvettes, they're. I mean, it's it's the closest thing to a supercar you can get without spending four hundred, five hundred. No, grand. I agree with you. It's, it's a, a lot, lot of car. car for the money. Yep, that's a car that you can get for. You can get a base. You know, a three LT car for seventy five thousand dollars. That's a just a tremendous car for that kind of money. Where are you going to get that? Um, I understand the spaghetti cars. <laughs> That's what I call. Them. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I I, I like them both. I, I again, I'm a I'm a Ferrari guy, so I like Ferraris. It's, but it's just not my style. I don't I don't I don't like the nightmares when people service them. To pull the motor out to do an oil change, things like that. That's monstrous what they charge. I, I can't accept that. Yeah. I don't do it. Uh, no no doubt. Look, you know, Crazy. it's gotten almost, Out unfortunately, we both, hope, thankfully, have the clientele. But at the end of the day, you know, my people come and buy an Aventador or they buy a, a Roma, Ferrari. You know, some of these cars are seven hundred thousand dollars. I mean, it's it's just it's loony money. But you know, it's it's a whole nother experience when you get behind the wheel of a car like that. It really is. It, it's, it's just a, it's, it's insanity. It's, it is. It's yeah. insanity. You get killed in it easily. Yeah, you do. I, I mean, yeah, you, I like my you big, do that, you know, that, big cars. I like big cars. You can walk away from an accident with a big car. Five star crash testing, even though it's a. Seven hundred thousand dollar car. They're pretty safe, believe it or not. How do you like the Mercedes? I like them. I don't like all the models. I like the AMGs. I like the six point three liters. I um, like those. Those are old cars. Yeah, I mean that's a four hundred and fifty eight horsepower car. Yeah. They put that engine on the G wagon now as well. Um, I like them a lot. I like the SLs because it's a hard top convertible. So going back to O three. Um, you know, it's a power top. It's a hard top convertible. Right. I think it's a great car for the money. You can I get an old three. Stupid hard tops you got to pick up and take off. Those are the ones I have. But yeah. You know the old four fifty SLs and things like that. I mean, you take the top off and you forget about it until the winter time. Right. Right. Yeah. Or the way I have it, you know, because I had an old, I had an old three eighty uh, in my garage forever. Right. I just right. actually just sold it um, to a very nice judge. Uh, I had it hanging in my garage on a little button that i would take it off and and it would hang up there exactly out of the way my wife does that with me <laughs> she, 
Yeah. It is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> but uh, I, I like the uh, uh, I like the Mercedes product. I don't like them all. Some of them I think are pains Bore, in the butt. Boring. A lot of them are boring. Boring. I really do. Uh, again. Good cars, but boring. Super reliable, but I call those day-to-day -day drivers. And I'm not a day-to-day -day driver guy. I really am not. You want something I, special. Yeah. Not so much for me, but for the people that I transact with. So my folks are are either high-end collectors or they're very wealthy people that have six, seven, or eight cars and they drive, you know, they drive a bunch of cars. So I just sell to the humanoids that come in my place. Yeah. Just I've, been to, your, guys I've that, been to your place. Yeah, your I, place I, down in uh, off of the uh it's up, gone. So I know. I know. But uh, it was a shame that place I, was it was it was, was very dangerous. There. Icon. But it was dangerous. The, the area. Yeah. My, it won't be that it won't be that for long. That the area is just getting I don't know. I just I felt my, my body shop guy was a couple blocks away and they killed him a few months back they walked oh, in and put no. bullets in him and that was my message to leave i know that guy we'll leave that name we'll leave that uh he was a sweetheart give you a show off his back yeah. and for no reason boom 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 i don't care what he did or whatever but you don't do yeah. that i like see them i like model a's i like i like those uh, i don't like the trailer queens at all i like cars you put on the road and drive I, I don't want to carry my car around on my back like a turtle I want you know I want to have a car I can enjoy you yeah know? You, you know I've never uh, ever bought or sold a Model T A or any of the others I, I just never have a lot of Fords um, even Ford GTs or GT40s I've had those in my possession uh, but the the Model T, I mean, and they're very reasonable pricing wise. They and the reason that is is because the people that like them are dead. Yeah, it's right. changed a lot now. When I started, Model Model A's were hot as a pistol. Model T's were those guys are gone, and young kids they don't want to look at that and drive that. They don't know what it is. It's changed. I'm certainly not young. However, I'll tell you this: I would drive one of those cars. I really would. I would put one in my garage. I think they're super cool. for Sundays. A good looking, of course. Yeah. Top down, you go to the, you go to have lunch or something. You go to the beach. I, mean, I think it's a wonderful. I would, I would own one. I would own. One. I got a lot of them. If you want you one. Don't, don't threaten me. I got a bunch of them. Forty-five miles an hour. But other than that, that's about awesome. It. Yeah, <laughs> you might get fifty out of one. Yeah, maybe. But with uh, a wind, with a tailwind. With I, a got tailwind. A, I got a T. I got a T that someone made into a speedster. Put an Opal motor in it. Automatic. Uh, with a Manta car. motor, the Opel Manta. Yeah. Oh, see, so yeah, that's a, that's another story. But it's that's, a wonderful yeah, car. Those are nice cars. But it's not, you know, to purists. Oh, I don't like that. Good, stay away from it. Yeah, no, I don't care. So, so look, from a purist standpoint, it depends on the car, right? Now, you don't want to mess around. You don't want to mess around with a Gullwing or a, or something like that. But I mean, there's some cars that doesn't matter. Like you know, like a car like that that you could buy for eight, 10, 12 grand, and you can invest some money and make it something special, yeah. it's worth doing. It's fun. You, you wouldn't do that to a Mustang uh, GT that, you know, that is a 65 that's worth 250. You're not going to mess around with that. I'm you know. over, I've over working on cars. I don't do it anymore at all. I don't want to touch cars. I'll buy them, sell them, flip them as I get them. Make a shot, make a profit, go to the next one. I don't want to touch anything anymore. My business model compared to Robbie, Robbie deals in a thoroughbred motor car, and there's a certain client for that kind of car, and that's not my clientele. My guys want to just get in a car, have fun, turn the key, and go. There's a big difference in the clientele. Uh, I have a lot of fun with my clients, and I, I enjoy what I do. I mean, that's what the difference. These guys, you know, if you talk wrong to one of his guys, he'll walk away and never buy a car from you. Pretty much, I would I wouldn't disagree with you. No, I know. I mean, it's a different level of uh, buyer <laughs> of care of concierge service. There's no no doubt that you're right about. Uh, uh, I mean, a lot of the clients are people that I do business with over and over again, and they could certainly have the thick skin to withstand an insult that I might give them. But However, the way, the way you speak though is perfect for what you do. You know, you are in this different area code that I'm in. I am not. That's not who I deal with. Yeah. I deal with guys that have 20, 30 grand and want to buy a car so I can flip them a car and double, triple my money. Yeah. And do it like that. I mean, listen, <laughs> at the end of the day, 
you know, I used to tell that to people, friends of mine, and just people that just start in the business. Now, even young guys that I mentor that uh, I want to open a dealer. I want to do this. I want to do that. And I want to buy Highline cars. And I'm like, listen, you make the same three grand on a thir- 17 Lexus as you do on a 2002 Lexus. I mean, it, I you make, know, that you, I'm, yeah, I, I mean, 100%. at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. You, you know, the money's the same. So to invest, in my case, sometimes you invest hundreds of thousands of dollars. And sometimes you make five, six grand, eight grand. Not always. Sometimes you make 25 grand. But sometimes you make a small margin. You make that on a $12,000 car. Absolutely. Yeah. That's so sometimes a that's, you know. Different animal. Yeah. And, and I sell a lot of them. Yeah. One, two, three a day. And I'm rolling them out that quick. And I'm getting them in and trading. I trade all the time. I'm a trading machine. And that re- replenishes your face look, you know? People see a different car there. They don't care. They don't want to know that I traded for it. They want to know it's a different face. Yeah. I do that all the time. I'm a trading machine. You've got to be kind of a magician to do what you do. And I'll tell you why. Me personally, the headache that's involved in transacting something that usually, unfortunately, because of the age and the condition and whatnot, you're just investing so much time and effort in problems and repairs that for me, you know, that the cars I transact, you know, they're, animal. yeah, they're just pristine. You, you don't even want to wipe them because you might scratch them. I don't have to worry about problems. I don't have to worry about repairs. I, I, I hand them over. They hand me the money. And that's it. And that's it. My cars, are, a lot of guys buy cars to restore, which I never, ever want to do. But they put... You know, I got people come in. I got this car five years ago, a Mustang. I put $70,000 in it, and I'm not done yet. Yeah. I said, well, here's the same car you can buy now done for 30 Right. Why don't you just buy that and enjoy it and get rid of that thing? Yeah. It's just life is too short. I've made that mistake. I, I bought a 66 convertible with a 289 three-speed. and yeah, great car. And, I, you know, I bought it cheap, and, and you're right. I, I just... After you dump and dump and yeah. dump and dump, and dump. you could have gone out and bought a, a thirty-five, forty thousand dollar real nice car, and rather not, than and not tied waiting a year, you know, and, and get aggravated with it. Oh, Who not? God. I don't need it. It's a pain. Do I like classic American stuff? I do like Rolls and Bentley. That's really what I like. I I, I do mostly American. I'd say eighty-five percent of my cars are American. And they turn and they go and they yeah. go. I'm Did super... you know Ron Levitt? Ron, Ron Levitt. Levitt sells cream puffs. Yeah, I do know Ron Levitt. Oh, yeah, he's, I've he's done gone business now. with him before. Yeah. Great guy. But, but, but years. But I years. used to watch him buy a car for ninety thousand and flip it for ninety two. I'd rather buy a car for three and flip it for eight. Just a different ego. I no, don't understand it. No doubt. M- me, I'm a. I consider myself pretty patriotic, so I never hate, I hate to ever say, you know, I don't buy American cars, because I do. I like American cars. I like trucks and stuff like that, Broncos. and, uh, But car-wise, classic-wise, without question, you know, like I've got a 72 GTO convertible, you know. What year? A 72. Oh, good. Great car. GTO. car's beautiful. It's going through the restoration process. I bought it right, so I'm spending the money. But me, personally... The cars that I keep in my garage are European cars. It's without question Italian and German cars. That's what I, I typically... I'm what Italian, about, so... What about rice rockets? What about the Japanese stuff? You know, I like that... I like the turbo. I like the twin turbo a Supra. That's a great car. They just came out with a new one. Um, I like the the older the older twin turbos. Again, not my favorite. Not mine either. No, no not my favorite. I they don't drive great. It, I don't eat it, and I don't know it. Yeah. So. I, I, you know, I like Ameri- the same American iron is what I really like. Uh, I'm with you Europeans. I don't know much about them. Uh, and the truth is they're not really in my, in my wheelhouse from a standpoint of my client. It's not what you do. Doesn't want that. It's not yeah. looking for that. Ever. I, I would feel the same way about having Ferraris and Lamborghinis in my place. It isn't what I sell. Right. I bought a really nice Maserati sedan, beautiful car. I'm sure you know the guy that had it in Fort Lauderdale. But I bought it from him, and gorgeous. I thought I killed it. I sold it like a year later. I lost about twenty grand on the car. Yeah. And I was so happy. I just get it out of my yeah. life. It wouldn't work for me. You it were happy for the twenty grand. Yeah. We the loss. Yeah. 
it's funny because the mistakes, again, the mistakes that you might make on a car, and that was an anomaly because that's not typically what you do. No. But the car that you buy for eight or ten grand, or whatever it might be, or two yeah. grand, right? Or twenty grand. It right, whatever. whatever. Still you make a mistake and you lose a couple of grand. That's it. And Bob's your uncle. Right. I buy a car, and I have recently. Right. You know, the market shifted. It was here, and I was buying cars for... No exaggeration, seventy five, eighty, and ninety thousand dollars above MSRP. So if the MSRP was one seventy eight, I was paying two fifty, two fifty, two sixty for cars. Now, when that bubble breaks, you're in trouble. That's right. You get stuck with something like that. You could lose eighty grand. It's not two grand. It's eighty or ninety grand. I don't have the stones for that. Yeah, I'm not doing so, it. So that's typically what I do. Is you know my clientele is ordering specific cars. I don't buy them unless I'm stealing them. You know, you look at modern cars, which I have no interest in at all, and you look at classic cars, like a 57 Chevy. That's my meat. That's what I like. That's what I like driving. Uh, yeah, they don't drive like a brand new car, but look how cool it is. It's cool. I love that. You know, you look good with that hat and that shirt driving a, that, that type of car. Me, you know, put me in an M4, you know, uh, a 550 horsepower car going down the road. It's just a... It's it's a high for you. Yeah, it's a high. The air conditioner's better. The car drives comfortably. You know, it's just a whole nother world. Air conditioning? What's yeah. that? <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, and that's the other thing. You know, they, you know, I don't drive my 308 often because even though the AC works... See, they were never any good. It, it, what, it wasn't great when the car was right. Made. Right. So... It's not it's not pleasant to drive in the summer. I just I just love the feel of an old car. I love to, the look. I like to be seen in an old car, uh, and I like my Phantoms. That's pretty much it. You know, I like Phantoms, but uh, I again I I put me in a put me in a four fifty eight four eighty eight. Put me in a newer Ferrari. It's just a whole nother world. I mean, I, I like the older Ferraris, but the dry, the ride is just so much nicer. Cars that make me happy. Rolls Royces and Bentleys. I have a 1929 Bugatti at home that's incredible. Oh, that's a, that's big, a real car. A, a real one. Yeah, that's I a real mean, one. That's it's a, nice a big car. car. It's a, yeah. um, a binder edition. Big, big beast of a car. I've had it for many, many years. Yeah, well, that's It belongs nice to my dog. <laughs> I have a dog that if I try to take that car out, he'll chase me down the road in the middle of traffic to get to me. If I take him for a ride and bring him home, he'll go on out. That's funny. That's it's his car. Yeah, that's funny. You know, and he's um, old. My my the car's old. He's old. We have a lot of fun. I, uh, you know, I I I'm, I'm definitely partial to. Again, to late model. Uh, you know, uh, look, I I drive my daily car is a is a, is a turbo. It's a sixteen turbo. I mean, it's a convertible. I'm a rack top guy like you. You like blondes or brunettes? Um, my wife is a, a brunette. But so I like and I've been blondes. married for 32 years. I, yeah. I'm a blonde guy. I never did that. Might I never had that long a sentence. <laughs> 30, uh, <laughs> you're you're a blonde guy. Yeah. So I, I you know I'm I uh, I'm a brunette guy. I guess that that's all right. Be, that's yeah. you see that's it. We're all happy. Yeah, that's it. So it makes the world go round. I think it's time to go. I've had such a good time talking to you. I've yeah. been learning from you behind the scenes for years, believe it or really? not. That's funny. Yeah, your knowledge of the, uh, the the inventory that you carry is, is the, the un unparalleled. They sell like crazy. It's fun. Oh, oh yeah, you got to watch my new show. It just came out on Tubi. It's now called Ted Vernon's South Beach Classics, and it's killing it. It's a beautiful show. It's fun. Um, my Ex new wife is on there. Excellent. I will. Absolutely. Yeah. Count met, on it. I met her in a cemetery. <laughs> Why? Yeah, I, I did. <laughs> She makes me bathe in ice water before she sleeps with me. It's a little crazy, but I don't care. It is what it is. Teach <laughs> their own. <laughs>